So one of the best um, artists and inspiration to my painting journey um, since the 80s, in fact, was uh, uh, an artist, as you would know, by Bob Ross. And he inspired me um, a great deal in, in order to um, paint in oils. Now, unfortunately, at the moment, and, uh, and has been for the last several years, in fact, um, I can't use oil paints because of dermatitis and problems with skin condition and stuff that I've got. Hence the reason I turned over to um, basically acrylics. So it, was t it took a while to, to, to learn uh, acrylics. But you can still do a Bob Ross painting um, in acrylics if you want to. Um, and I'm going to talk about this as I process, uh, pro proceed with this. So I've got a little bit of um, cardboard that I've, I've, that I've cut out. Um, it's epoxy 16 by 12. I think it's 16 by 12. It doesn't really matter the size you decide. I put some gesso on there. Um, the colours Bob used to use, um, I believe, were phyllo blue. Um, there was um, a, 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 a phyllo green, that's a hooker's green, so I've a process blue hooker's green. I used to use a cadmium yellow, that is a cadmium yellow. I used to use a light red, this is a cadmium red. I used to use midnight black, this is um, a Mars black, which is a blue black, the same as uh, a, a, the, the midnight black. I used to use burnt um, sienna, this is burnt amber, and um, some titanium white, and, and a few other colours as well, but those are the colours that I'm going to be using today. Now, I've actually thickened... Um, some paint in order to get the snow on the mountain I've actually thickened the paint and I'll tell you how I've thickened that in a second so let's get let's just get started um, I don't use a wet on wet technique as he did obviously with oils um, I just go in with straight with uh, acrylics so I'm going to make sure that my acrylic is a little bit wetter than normal which you can do if you're painting on cardboard I'm just making sure everything is recording picking up a little bit of blue on the, the end of my brush just like that and I'm going to put that into the sky in a crisscross manner exactly the way Bob would do it now he used to use a, a, a liquid white on the canvas so he used to go in on with the blue and it used to mix with the white and you'd get similar effect to this but it would mix with the white that's on the canvas and that's basically just very thin uh, 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 acrylic a very thin um, oil paint, a very thin um, oil paint. It's um, 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 titanium white, I believe, that had thinners in it, or something similar to that anyway. But it was just a thinned down white, which he used to put on the canvas, which used to speed up the the blending um, process for him. And, um, and very similar to what we're doing here now, just adding a little bit of white and blue together and just getting that lovely type of sky in we can add a little bit more blue to our brush just to get um, that vignette type of look on the sky there we are we just blend that in like this just get that down and if you're quick enough you can do um, a very quick wet in wet type of blending with acrylics very similar to um, what Bob Ross used to do with oils now the, f the the fun thing about this is I mentioned if you watch my last video <coughs> I'll put it in the i cards for you if you watch my last video I mentioned that I was going to do um some virtual reality painting in the style of um Mr Bob Ross um and and the painting that I'm designing today is going to be that virtual reality painting so I want to show you that you can still paint even in virtual reality um in the same method as I'm painting you today. So let's just bring that down like this and get a little bit of white just down here. There we go. Just bringing that down, just adding a little bit of moisture to my brush, just making a brilliant white just down there, just like that. So, and that's how basically our sky put in. Now we need to get some clouds in there. So we can either use the same brush and, and put these clouds in like this or we can use a smaller brush it's entirely up to you what you or how you do it it's entirely up to you get a little bit of blue on that brush just to get a little bit of um contrast in that cloud there we are we're just going to put that in just like this 
not too worrying too much about it. We put some highlights in in a second. We put some more cloud forms there like this. Not too worrying too much about shape and form at the moment. There we are, just blending that down just like that. We've got these lovely little cloud shapes in the sky. Just wash, just they, they just float in a way floating away the stress of everyday life. So I'm just going to take the excess off this brush. This is um, a half inch short flat brush and I'm just going to blend that in now. Just like that. Blend that in. I'm just going to get another brush. This is a dry brush. Same brush but it's just a dry brush. I'm just going to try and fluff up those edges just a touch. Just like that. Just like Bob would with the two inch brush or the one inch brush that he would use in this process. Just fluff those clouds up very, very lightly, just like that. Like that. And then we can get a little bit more white. And just bring some highlight in to the top of those clouds. Now you, you carry on and just put as many clouds in your painting as you want. I'm just going to do a few today. I'm just doing a few. And if you really want to do it, you could just pull that in with your little finger like that, see? So there's many ways to, to create something. And many ways to get an effect. And, and, and I always recommend that you, you study other artists as well. And try and replicate what they do. So we've got a few clouds in the sky there. What I thought would be fun today um, is if I dry that now very quickly with a hairdryer. What I thought would be fun, what I thought would be fun today is if we got a little bit of, a little bit of yellow just on our brush like this and get a little bit of this red, just the smallest amount, just a little smidge, just a little smidge of red, just to, just to warm that up into a lovely looking orange. There we go. And I thought it would be nice if we put some sort of a glow in the sky just like this maybe maybe there's a little bit of warmth coming through that sky just like that maybe there's maybe the, the sun is maybe rising is it a is it a rising sun it could be just a rising sun couldn't it could be let's put a little bit of warmth just under these cloud these clouds just like that a little bit of warmth just there just like that. Let's get some white and then just bring that in a little bit like that. Maybe there's a glow of the sun just there like that. And I'm just using a bit of white, uh, sorry a bit of moisture on my brush now and I'm just going to bring that in and put that warmth just in the sky just like this. There's a little bit of warmth there. There's a little bit of warmth there. It could be just, it could be a rising sun or a setting sun or, or something like that. A little bit of warmth in the sky, just like that. There we go. Lovely, 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 lovely. You make it up. This is your world. And as Mr. Bob Ross used to say, you can do anything in your world. You can move mountains, you can, you can build forests, and you can do absolutely anything that you want to do. So there's just a little bit of warmth just in that sky, just like that. Okay, that's lovely. That's lovely. Okay, what we need to do now is we need to get a smaller brush. And we're going to use the same brush. I'm going to get a bit of black. Get a bit of black and get a bit of this burnt umber. There we go, a bit of black and burnt umber. I'm going to add a little bit of green to that as well. There we are, and a little bit of blue. We'll chuck that in there and make a really dark colour. Make a really dark colour. There we go. We're going to put a mountain in here today. So we're going to get this mountain to come in. Come out little peaks like that, and this mountain's going to just come down and float away down there like that. This mountain's going to come down. Maybe, maybe we've got another little peak coming in. 
on this mountain there like that so just make this shape whatever shape you want in your world as I said you can move mountains in the painting and that's what you want to do yes that's what you want to do is move mountains in your painting so I'm going to get a, another brush very quickly yeah this is a little two inch brush I'm just going to get the smallest amount of white just on there and I'm going to pull this down now just like that keeping that nice sharp edge over there just like that just pulling this down get a little bit more white because what I want to try and create is that feeling of mist just that feeling of mist in this mountain area there like this just that little bit of mist coming down on the mountain just like that wow this is going to be so nice bringing that down a bit more mist and this is something you can't do with oils because oils paints dry so fast so you, you can't manipulate the paint now I could dry this and put some more mist in there which I'm going to do in a minute there we are but before we do that what we need to do is get some snow on these mountains I'm just making sure that everything is recording it is all my cameras are working I hope they are so what I've gone and done now is that I have mixed some chalk in actual fact I mix marble dust into this this is just plain titanium white just plain titanium white now I mix marble dust into this so to make it a little bit thicker now you can buy products on the market um, that will thicken your paint for you now by using chalk you're just going to make it a little bit more you're a little bit more able to, to, to make this as thick as you want. Now it will crack over time, but if you're going to be doing this painting on a bigger scale or a canvas or something, what I recommend you do is once you've finished your painting is varnish it a couple of times with some varnish. Because what it's going to do then, that's going to seal in this chalk that you've got. And it's not going to unstabilize the paint too much. It will unstabilize it, but not, or not enough that a little bit of varnish won't prevent it from cracking or we need to put some snow just on that mountain just like this just using the edge of the palette knife I'm just bringing that down just like that there we go Ooh, look at that <laughs> yes it's, it's not going to be the same as oils but you can still get that type of effect and this is all we're looking for is getting that that breaking effect that we can get from oil paints there we are so we've got a little bit of snow there just like that we're going to get a little bit more snow so all I'm doing is pulling this down very similar to what Bob does and I get a little roll of paint a little roll of paint just on there and very lightly just dragging that down just like that there you go and we can move mountains in this world we certainly can we can put another peak there and I can come down just like that so let's pull that down there let's just get a little bit of oil paint there there you go just like that get a little bit of this paint or we could put a little bit of blue with that there we go a little bit of blue with that paint a little bit of burnt umber just to dirty that because we want to make a shadow color there we go we want to make a nice shadow color a little bit of blue a little bit of burnt umber a little roll of paint and now we're just gonna put that shadow color just in just like that a little bit there and a little bit there there we go just put that in with your palette knife A 
properly now down. Just like that. <laughs> How's that? Does that look good? I hope it does. I hope it does. Don't forget we are using acrylic paint, so acrylic paint and, and oil paints are a lot different. A lot different to each other. But we're getting that effect that we want. We're getting that effect that we want. There we go. Just, just play around a little bit. There, I just want to tighten, tidy that up a bit, just like that. There we go. Maybe, maybe put a little bit more snow over there. Maybe a little bit of snow just catching. Just like that. Just on that shadow side. Maybe, maybe just a little bit. Just catching on that side there, like that. There we go. So we got, we got a lovely. A lovely mountain shape. Now what I'm going to do is dry that very quickly with a hairdryer because I want to put another load of mountains in the front of that and that's going to be a bit of fun as well. So I'm hoping that's dry enough. If it isn't, it doesn't matter. I don't mind. I, I can live with it. <laughs> so I just dried my brush as well. What I'm going to do now is put these dirty brushes by there. What I'm going to do now is get a little bit of white and a smallest amount of blue. A little bit of white and the smallest amount of blue just to get a bit of moisture on my brush what I want to try and do is create some mist just on the bottom of uh, this mountain because you get a little bit of mist just on the bottom of the mountain this is a lot easier this is a lot easier in oils this is a lot easier when you're playing with oil paints but if you don't got oil paints and you can't use oil paints then we can either use acrylics or we can we can use watercolors we can do the same type of thing with watercolors so it's in, don't worry that you can't paint a uh, Bob Ross type of painting if you haven't got oil paints. You can, you can, you can, you can play with different paints, different mediums. You know, you, so you've got watercolors. You could try and do this in watercolors. That would be fun. That would be fun. So we're just creating some mist under that mountain, and I'm going to be doing the same painting, very same painting. In virtual reality that's that's going to be the fun part that's going to be the fun part that's what i'm looking forward to that's what i'm looking forward to so i'm going to get another bit of i'm going to put another range of mountains in front now because they're big ones they're the, they're the daddies they're the daddy and the mummy and we got the little babies here to, to come in here like this now these are going to be a bit more a rounded type of shape be a bit more rounded type of shape just like that, a bit more like little tiny baby hills. <laughs> they're little baby hills. They're not mountains yet. They haven't grown up to be mountains. There they are. Just, I don't know, any shape you want, any shape that you want like that. And maybe this one, maybe this one is going to come down a little bit like this. There we go. A bit more black on my brush. I come down, and that's going to come up like this, and that's going to come there. And we're going to put a bit of a bit of a little peaky type of feeling to that one. There we are. And that's going to come in uh, there like that. A bit of a valley maybe. There could be a bit of a valley there like that. There we are. Get a little bit of that brush of moisture on my brush. I'm just going to brush this in now. Thinking of a light source because we want that light source to come in just like that. A bit darker this side. There you go. And that's going to come down there. A little bit of moisture on my brush. A little bit of white paint on my brush. Just to get that essence of mist blowing down there like that. What I thought we'd do now is get this brush, taking the taking the black off the brush, getting a bit of green and some blue, getting our yellow, making a very very light colour, maybe even a bit of white. There we go. A bit more blue. A little bit bluer, the things things further away tend to be a little bit bluer. So let's put a little bit of maybe grass there. 
this is a bit of grass on these these and these are more these are more like hills and things and we want to put a little bit of color just in like that just to show that maybe maybe there's some trees and things growing just like that that's coming down like that again a bit more grass color just that essence of green coming in just like that just that essence just a, just a little touch of maybe there's something growing there maybe it's from trees and things who knows who knows what's there if you wanted to you could very lightly break that edge up just like that just break the edge up so there's a just a hint it's just a hint of maybe there's a few little pine trees just just on the edge of that mountain can you see those little tiny pine trees can you see them maybe there's a few more poking their head up there like that just an essence there you go could we could get a little bit of this snow could get a little bit of this that's not a good idea let's put a little bit of maybe there's just a little bit of snowfall just on these mountains they get a little bit of that shadow color now there's a little bit of shadow color just like that get a bit of snow just been falling who knows you make it up that's what I'm doing I'm just playing making things up as I go along now like that so we got a little bit of darker mountains they got a bit of few, a few little trees and things oh that's wonderful that is absolutely absolutely wonderful let's get some of this dark color now and let's mix some more of this up let's get some black some burnt amber black and burnt amber there we are black and burnt amber bit of green I'm just checking my cameras and everything are working okay and I'm gonna come down just like this I'm gonna block all this out push block it all out like that let's chuck in our color on there you go some more black some more burnt amber, a little bit of moisture. Black and burnt amber is just. Let's just put some shapes in there. Just a second. There we are. Block it all in. Lock it all in with some black and burnt amber, a bit of blue, a bit of green, make a nice, nice dark colour. There we are. Who knows? Who knows what is this? Who knows? We could put a line. Let's 
it start at the top come down like that nice chisel edge just like that So we've got a couple of trees there, we can do another one. Big one there, we do a big one there. There we go. Whoa! We could get a little... palette knife and just scrape in a few bits and pieces like that go back to our green so some yellow I don't want to go too light Just put a few highlights just on the tree, like that. We get a one of my foliage brushes. Get some of this hooker's green, a little bit more yellow. Maybe just a little bit brighter now. Put in some grass area. Just like that. Let's tap in a little bit of green. Checking everything is recording. Yes, everything is going quite well. Okay, let's put some more green in this way. Let's tap in the brush. Just getting that essence of, of green. I'm using the same green. I'm just going to lighten that up just a touch with a little bit more lighter colour. I want to bring some trees now on branches and we're going to put some leaves and things there we are let's brighten that up just a touch there now let's get our tree a little bit of color Just a touch of colour. There, like that. We could get a little bit of burnt ember and some white. And then we could just put a path coming in just like that. That's going all the way around there. A bit of 
plaque. Get our brush, smooth that down. a little work in progress sometimes things work sometimes they don't so don't don't just don't get despondent if things is, are not going the way you want them to go we need to put some lighter grass now on things just in this area just like this sparkling it up just a touch like that Maybe a few, just a little highlight, just on a few of them trees there like that. We could get some um, yellow ochre and stuff. In fact, we got a little bit of, let's just get a little bit of red and just use this different color like that. Could be one of them little gauze bush things, couldn't it? Get some green. Just like that. There you go. And just play and have fun and use your own imagination. See what you can come up with. Maybe we can have big rock there mixing a bit of color together just just trying to get a like a shadowy color highlight color I mean there we are The rocks. Just like that. Get some green. Let's just put a little bit of green. It's bedding them rocks in a touch, just like that. And then we could get a nice scrappy liner brush. We could put an old broken old ramshankle tree. Been blown he's been dying, he's died for years that one. See? A little bit of like that. And just a few branches and twigs and things. Even some grass. Just like that. 
and then we got a Bob Ross themed painting. I hope you like that one today. I really enjoyed painting that. Now what I've got to go and do is try and get that painted in virtual reality, which is going to be a bit of fun, you know. So um, I'm just going to put a little bit of little light on the tree like that. Not a lot, just a little bit. There we are. I'm going to have a bit of fun trying to recreate that um, painting um, in virtual reality. So I hope you enjoy that as much as I did. And, um, and then you could sign it if you wanted to. Here we go. Always in red, <laughs> as Mr. Ross did. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you very much for joining me in the studio. Don't forget to look out for the VR painting that I'm going to be doing of this one. And um, I hope that's turned out well anyway. It was a bit of fun. I enjoyed that. Bye.